Hello everyone and welcome to the infrared mode indicator introduction. My name is Jordan and in this very, very short video, I'm going to introduce you to uh, this extremely simple, straightforward indicator. So what does the indicator do? It basically shows you straight on the chart what are the levels or the zones uh, on the given chart that you're looking at where you have most of the volume. In other words, where did the price stop and where did uh, the volume started to increase? Meaning that usually in most cases, we're going to see the price consolidating, creating flux, etc. And once this happens, we know that orders are building, volume is building, and occasionally the price is going to break out of this zone. Now, it's really important to be able to identify these zones because those are natural supports and resistances. And the way the indicator is built is very simple. Um, the darkest colors are going to show you where was most of the volume developed before the price went there. So if we take a look at this example, we can see that this is definitely a super strong level and the price is going up and down and we have uh, other nuances right here and here where volume definitely was building and we saw some consolidations around these levels, but this is the place that we want to focus on trading. So what we can do here is first of all, on the way up, you can be selling the bounces, right? I usually do only the first one. Then this one, I would be definitely skipping. We have afterwards a very clear breakout and the retest. So this immediately becomes uh, by the pull back kind of situation, amazing risk reward ratio. Then again, you have the first test of this zone once we went to different levels and you can see again what the price is doing. Right, we have this strong bounce. Now, once this bounce is happening, I wouldn't be trading this thing uh, for the second time because now this is too close. These two lows are very close to each other. So let it do whatever it wants to do. And for me personally, this is going to be a breakout. And right here on the pullback, now I'm trading the opposite direction. So this becomes tradable as well. So that becomes a sell opportunity. Since there was a lot of bars and a lot of time passed right here. That could be a sell opportunity also for me right here. Later on, as it breaks right here, we have a clear breakout, pullbacks and buy opportunities again, because the zone <clears throat> and the time period is long enough. This is probably a slightly different example. We have a consolidation zone, the volume is building. It's actually the three levels here, but in the middle, we have the strongest zone. You have a breakout. And once the price is uh, going and retesting this zone, this is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and look for sales inside this box. And since now you have another level or consolidation zone right here, where volume was building, you can be trading sales versus this zone again, okay? Uh, here is one more example. This one is not that clear, but again, we, we know that in trading, um, not all of the examples and the trades that we take will be perfect. So just to give you an idea what you could be looking at, not so clear zone, but this thing starts to show us where the volume is. You got the breakout, you got the retest, and this is the move that I will be personally looking for, okay? Then you have breakouts. This is going to be a stop loss probably if you're looking to trade the pullbacks and then you're entering this range again. So I hope this explains more or less what's the idea behind the indicator. Of course, um, the discussed ideas here are very simple, very straightforward. Usually what you want to do is implement this indicator in your um, current trading strategies, current trading methods, and not use it as it is. I just wanted to show you that if you know what you're doing with this thing, even using the indicator on its own, trading price action could be still really profitable. All right, thank you. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment.